GCSAA TV asks the question on every superintendent's mind, what's in your cart? My bucket on a, on a regular basis consists of one of these, but it's, it's smaller. It's, uh, it's an inch and a half pipe. Um, I have a correct PVC. I have a uh, cup setter. I have a little bit of soil, not so neat as in a Rubbermaid container, but usually in the bottom of the bucket. Carry one bottle of water around with me. I carry a butter knife and a fork and uh, and a couple golf balls just to uh, roll out the cups just to make sure that um, you know the balls aren't uh, uh, on severely sloped greens like mine back uh, at Northland just making sure that um, we don't have any unfair pins. Um, one other thing important thing for bucket management is if you have multiple people using a bucket you need to make sure that you leave the bucket how you found the bucket. And it bugs me when someone uses my bucket and they put a bunch of soil in there or something happens and you go to pick up your bucket and it's full of clay or whatever. You know, you just want to have a light bucket and have it organized the way you always do. And uh, when you send the guy out to uh, cut cups, you come back and your bucket's all messed up. It just ruins a guy's day. I see some chopsticks in there. Chopsticks? Yeah. Uh, sometimes we've got the little red grub worms, and uh, if you get out here on a, on a nice wet day, you know, you might be able to use the chopsticks in there and just, uh, just pull some worms out. How do you use these things? You know? You know how you do that? You know, just something like that. <laughs> Why do you have these? Well, is that for lunch? The real reason why we have those is because uh, when we start progressing here, uh, if like yesterday uh, Jake's Jake's group was behind, and so then we could we could go and mark the the dots for him, and uh, we could put a chopstick in there, and he would be able to find it right away. And that's what's in my bucket. <laughs>